Hello and welcome to the Weekly Wrap-Up. I'm Louise, this is Leon. Coming up in this week's show, someone's found out what's below the waves in Fallout 4's ocean. In far too exciting news for this time of year, Hideo Kojima has partnered up with Sony for the first game for his new independent Kojima production studio. But first, we find out what you think of Destiny's new not-so-microtransactions. So, Destiny's had an update, and it's not Zer wearing a red suit on handing out candy canes and a fusion rifle called Plan Christmas. That was terrible. Christmas is snow joke. So, yeah, Bungie has added new microtransactions for each class that allow you to hop up instantly to level 25. Given that this is exactly what the Spark of Light does, it doesn't seem too bad, but each pack costs an eye-watering $24.99 or $29.99 for our US Guardians. Now, each pack contains a level 25 boost for one character, a subclass boost, and telemetries, which all seems fine, but it's definitely the price that's sticking in your throats. Kyle Shaw on Facebook says, if it weren't so damn expensive, I would do it in a heartbeat. Played all year one on PS3 and recently upgraded to Xbox One. The grind to 25 is what's keeping me from creating more than one character. Now, Gunslinger Snafu, on the other hand, says it's a pointless addition. It takes little more than four to five hours to get to level 25. Seems like a waste of money. In another of our exceptionally scientific news polls, we asked you if you're happy with Destiny's microtransactions, and over 1,000 of you responded. Now, 58% of you said you weren't impressed, with only 16% of people saying that they're happy with the arrangement. However, it is worth noting that these are still updates that you don't need to buy to play the game, and Michael Washington on Facebook is nonplus, saying, no issue with this, it's not affecting anything. Now, let us know what you think in the comments below, unless it's about what you think of my antlers, in which case, screw- In other news. Black Ops 3 has also added microtransactions with Call of Duty points that you can use to buy supply drops in multiplayer or liquid divinium in zombies. The latest Xbox One backwards compatible update has added Halo Reach, Portal, Deus Ex Human Revolution and <clears throat> Kane and Lynch 2, among others. And it looks like the PlayStation VR is more than just a headset, with an additional Wii-sized box handling the extra processing. Chances are, if you've been playing Fallout 4, then you've mostly been staying on land, what with all the toxic radiation if you so much as dip a toe in a puddle. Oh god, that noise drives me up the wall. It turns out that we've all been doing it wrong, with Levon Smith spending the last few weeks charting all of Fallout 4's unseen depths. Levon's discovered there's more down than just old bikes and mile looks. Start exploring underwater and there's a host of objects and oddities that have got people wondering if we've seen everything the apocalypse has to offer. As well as chests, safes and supplies, spending some time down where it's wetter means you'll discover a world full of pipes, cars, piles of sunken boats and things like this body in a bath with a, with a teddy bear. <laughs> And it gets weirder, like a sunken ship covered with cat pictures and the word meow scratched into the wall. Levon spent over 30 hours looking around the depths after initially falling in while wearing power armour and deciding to have a look around. He also compiled a handy map for anyone else who wants to seek out this weirdness. One of the biggest mysteries underwater does seem to have been solved though, with a strange writing covered sphere discovered to be a partially buried water tower with a Nuka Cola ad on it. The strange arrangements of pipes and other spheres is still a bit of a mystery though. Why is it there? Are there pipes you can get in and explore? One theory is that it could all be involved in future DLC in some way. Coming up next, we find out about Kojima's new game. Now, don't forget, you can say hello or ask questions on Twitter via at shiny underscore demon, at Leon Hurley, or at GamesRadar. At long last, after months of endless headlines and questions about Kojima's role at Metal Gear Studio Konami, we can finally confirm that the man has well and truly left the building and founded his own Kojima production studio. I wonder where he came up with that name. Hmm. Anyway, even better than Indie Kojima goodness is the fact that he's partnered up with Sony for at least one project on PS4 that will eventually come to PC. Now, it's been confirmed that this will be a new IP which sadly won't be Silent Hills and definitely not Metal Gear Solid, but a job page on the new Kojima Productions website is looking for a weapons and mechanical artist, so Kojima isn't exactly making the next res. Now, it's also worth noting that he's looking for people with experience with developing AI crowds, and the new project will apparently use the Unreal Engine. This means that Kojima's proprietary Fox Engine, also known as that one with a horse, must have stayed with Konami. Needless to say, you're all pretty giddy about the idea. Oh man, I can't wait for some new games, says Nicholas Arvizu. It's time for a new era, guys. MGS and Silent Hill were incredible titles and had great games, but it's time for a new story, a new hero, a new game, can't wait. Suleiman Rashid agrees, as a hardcore Xbox fan who would only love to play Halo and Gears, this is the final straw. PS4 is the way to go from now on, or maybe PC. And finally, Kevin Swan says the only pre-Watershed version of a now well-known phrase when he says, take that Konami. We'll see you next on Christmas Day for your redevoted games of the year and the New Year's Day show for 2016's Most Wanted. Until then, goodbye. Have a lovely Christmas.